Hello, YouTube. It's been a while since I've done what you might want to consider a political post. But I've been thinking over something. Uh, it was an encounter I had with a person today uh, that I've known for a few years. I saw him out today and just kind of the, something that kind of hit home. And it's something I've been noticing, I'd say for the last maybe year or so. And it's how I've been watching politics creep into religion. And you've really, really seen it more now with the immigration debate. And it's actually one of the reasons I, I pretty much stopped going to a church I was attending. Because uh, some of the politics involved, I remember one of the sermons the pastor was giving where he even said, and this was just, was just a, not that long ago, and the exact quote uh, was how brown people and that's how he described it and this is a guy who's in his late 50s early 60s how brown people are treated badly and how badly they're treated every single day in america and i had a couple of sermons that didn't set well with me um where he'd kind of slightly bash law enforcement and our you know the politics of what's going on but that that one kind of did it for me and the more I've been seeing of him and hearing, um, I have caught occasionally they, they post some of the, the sermons online, and I've watched a few of them. And the more I've seen, and it's not just this church, it seems to be spreading through some of the churches nationwide like wildfire, where politics have now gotten involved. And because you hear one of the big things that Trump got support was from evangelicals. And I think he still has that. I think he still has the support of the evangelicals. I don't think he has supports from some of these church leaderships. And from my experience, if you talk to some of these church, uh, some of the hierarchy, the church deacons, the church elders some of these pastors what you get is very uh maybe not entirely liberal ideas for instance they are 100 percent pro-life but then you get anything else you get uh i've run into totally for gun control i've run into totally for um prison reform to the point of just laughable ideas and notions that they have for some prisoners and how most of that comes from prison ministries that I've seen firsthand where these people believe every single word they're told by inmates and criminals. You know, not saying that some of the things might not be true, but I've seen these people turn right around, gee, I have no money in my commissary account, can you put... And these people from the church will literally walk right out and put money in their commissary account. They'll try to bring them in gifts. They'll try to do things for them. They'll, things that you would just go, no, but they do it because that's what they do. Now, where a lot of people will think, well, gee, you're attacking religion. No, I'm not attacking religion. In a way, religion itself in this country has gotten twisted. Because there is a difference between religion and faith. Now, I am no scholar and I am no saint. I curse like a sailor. Uh, I have my own opinions. You guarantee when you talk to me, you'll get them. Um, but the problem is, is that you're seeing far too much politics getting into religion. And I'm sorry, I don't go to church to hear you as a pastor tell me how much you hate how this country is being run. Or, and I've, you know, that was like the, the same pastor. In part of the same sermon, he he equated what we're doing to, what we're doing to illegal immigrants is the same as what the Japanese went through in internment camps in World War II. Fight me. No, it isn't. First off, what they did in those internment camps was wrong. Yes, but those were American citizens. Illegal immigrants who are not citizens in this country do not have those same rights. Get that through your head now. And I've seen 
of uh, some of these churches we you see online now be some of these signs where they're uh, the latest one I've seen is instead of building a wall we should build a mirror to here's to put up a mirror to uh, reflect back upon it, something like that I'll, I'll put the picture up of that so after you've seen that I mean that that's one thing and uh, you see some of these pastors out there and again you know you see this is probably I saw this one of these same video sermons uh, just watched it recently one of the things that made me want to do this video was they were talking about the synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh over the weekend and how bad America has become and how racist America has become and how and I'm I'm sick and tired of the America bashing and I don't care if you are on the street somewhere shining shoes I don't care if you're a college student I don't care if you're a pastor I don't care who you are if you are so against how this country is and are so upset and angry and are so ashamed of this country there are airplanes leaving this country to other countries at these airports several times a day several parts of the country pack your shit and be on one i am sick and tired of how this country was never great how bad is and you're seeing it from these so you know from these sermons i've seen more than one and at the same time i think religion in this country has been perverted to basically i'm sorry into a ponzi scheme um, one of the biggest, for for a lack of a better term, crook, is Joel Osteen. This guy makes billions, not millions, billions of dollars. He's got yachts, he's got houses, he's got estates. Millions and millions and billions of dollars because people give him money because they say, because he says so. And I've even seen this now with the smaller churches. You, I even seen it now. The one church I used to attend. This is something that was upsetting. Well, you don't even have to be here if you want to donate money. We set it up online. You don't even have to attend. And that's one of their big things is, if you want to donate money, you can just do it online. You don't even need to come here. Yeah, don't even bother coming here. You, you know, what's the point? We don't need you. We don't need you here. We just want your money. And they do, when you first walk in the lobby of this church, they would put up a video board. And instead of inspirational messages, the first one you get was, and you can give online, and basically they've turned it into, we need money, we need money, we need money. We need, and it seems to be every time they turn around, they've got their hand out, well, we, we have this wrong, and we need this, and we need this, and we need this. Okay, what are you doing with the money you got? And... I'm sorry, I've I've seen some of these pastors driving brand new cars. I'm not saying anything more than that. But I see some driving nice new cars, have some of the nicest stuff in the world, really big houses. Meanwhile, you see people in the congregation driving these beat up old cars, these jalopies that, you know, can barely get on the road. And all the same time, they're being told, and I've been at these sermons, you need to give more, you need to do more, you need to provide more you need to serve more you know i understand that's part of part of service when it comes to church but it was for a long time every single sermon pounded into the ground not just the same church over and over and over again so where i think this is going folks is i think and everybody's complaining well less people are going to church can you blame them can you blame them? It's the same thing, the reason why people are watching less Hollywood movies. They don't want these actors preaching to them. Why are they watching the NFL less? Because they don't want these football players preaching to them. Why are they getting turned off? Because they don't want these people preaching to them. Now you have pastors up there who are preaching, but instead of preaching anything to do with the faith, or anything to do with, what, anything to do with basically what they are supposed to be preaching, they are now preaching politics, and people are leaving these churches, and I've seen it. 
People have turned them off and say, I am not going to sit here and be told how wrong what I do is. And then be expected to come back next Sunday and, oh, here comes the offering plate. I will give you money. Do you blame people for not sitting there? Of course not. So that is something to think about, YouTube. And watching you're starting to see more of these churches go the way of politics. And, go, and one of the reasons why, a lot of them get money. Big money from these cities, from these organizations, from, you know, it, they rely on the, you know, butts and seats to fill the plates. And it's, it's, it's a crude way to put it, but it is still what it is. So with that being said, YouTube, that's just something I wanted to come up with for a little bit of reflective thought. And see what you think on it and kind of spin that around. Have a good day.